in in the case of of us backing up Jay Z, um, again it was a challenge um, because I, I guess people wouldn't expect us to do it, but um, because I know him as a person, I mean he's more. I mean, I hate to give it away. I mean, he's more or less like me than he is like him. You know, I think people have this image of Jay-Z being the guy from his videos when in actuality, you know, he's a, a, a nerd, you know. I mean, he can quote more Seinfeld trivia than I can, you know. Like when the cameras aren't on, he's a whole nother person. He just has a whole lot more zeros in his bank account. But, um... You know, we basically just talked on the phone, and um, the one thing that surprised me was the fact that he didn't want to do his commercial hits. He wanted to use that opportunity to, to sort of familiarize people uh, with his filler. Because usually, like, true artists are, in my opinion, defined by their filler, not by their hits. You know, if you take a person like Stevie Wonder or Prince, a lot of my favorite songs are the songs that aren't singles. You know, it's so the album cuts. Um, and for him, he wanted people more familiar with his first record because his first record is is like true to the hearts of of like true hip hop fans. But then MTV stepped in and was like, no. So pretty much, you know. Um, we had to make a compromise, but, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it was fun working with him. And, you know, any, any time he calls and I'm able to do it, we, you know, we work, we've done four or five other things since then.